Craig Beach, work for a company called Beach Architects, and we have created um, two holiday lets on the Suffolk coast that um, clients came to us and asked for a, a scheme to redevelop some existing buildings, which were an old Royal Navy listening station that had been abandoned after the Second World War. And the coast is gradually eroding away the farmland that they farm. So um, they've lost over 100 acres of farmland uh, since the Second World War. So they're now having to diversify their agricultural business to create other sources of income. Uh, so the idea is to replace the derelict buildings with two holiday lets that they can then rent out. It's in a good location on the Suffolk coast. Um, but they wanted buildings that would be responsive to climate change and coastal erosion and they had a very strong emphasis on sustainability. So we created um, two holiday lets that are um, inspired by typical beach huts in a coastal location and these two holiday lets have a uh, five bay galvanized steel frame that provides a rigid skeleton that we then build a timber frame infill with insulation too, and the outside is clad in cedar shingles uh, and the inside is wood clad. And the idea is that all the materials that are used in it are kind of infinitely recyclable. So we've avoided materials that would go to landfill. So all the materials basically can be reused in other buildings if the buildings are demolished. But equally, uh, the idea is that the buildings are portable so they respond to climate change. So as the coast erodes and sea levels rise, the buildings can be lifted they're of a size that would fit on the back of a lorry. So they can be craned onto the back of a lorry and moved inland. Uh, so their position relative to the coast remains constant over time. The steel frame and the galvanizing allowed us to create that rigid structure, the skeleton that supports everything else in the project uh, and enables those buildings to be lifted. So there's little craneage points on each corner so they can be moved inland uh, as and when required. The buildings are uh, basically three metres, more or less three metres wide by 15 metres long, which is a little large for a, an Arctic truck, but it, it does yeah, just fit it on. And then they can be moved inland um, a short distance, so say 50 metres, um, and all the infrastructure, so the drainage and everything else, uh, the sewage treatment plant is all set inland. So the building can just be moved back and reconnected as it goes. And the foundations are just small 600 by 600 concrete pads that sit in a grid under the building. So when the building is lifted and craned onto a vehicle to move inland, the pads are removed and reset further inland and the building is then dropped down onto those. The coastal road is inland anyway, so the infrastructure comes from the coastal road, so water and electric, but it's all taken to a point um, effectively one field back on the boundary and the sewage treatment plant is there so the building can just gradually move back closer and closer reducing the length of the drainage run um, but still staying kind of with the coastal views so when the holidaymakers come they, they still have that same relationship to the coast. The reason for choosing galvanising was that we needed to create um, a structure. So when we looked at different possibilities, creating a timber structure, a steel structure, um, concrete frame, etc., we wanted to create a structure that was uh, a product that was recyclable. Um, but equally, it had to be something that was sufficiently rigid that could be craned in that environment uh, onto the back of a lorry without sufficient deflection that would damage internal surfaces and other elements of the building. So um, a galvanized steel frame kind of ticked all those boxes and enabled us to do something that was recyclable, um, portable and uh, also would survive and had longevity in a coastal environment. Um, so yeah, there's a number of criteria that really kind of dictated the use of a, a, a galvanised steel frame in that location.